What's up everyone, it's Demotion Derby for Life. I'm gonna do a update video before I paint the car. This will be the finished product, or pretty much the finished product of the Chainstock Derby car. Um, I will tell you guys what color paints I am gonna use. I'm gonna be using greens, yellows, and reds. And it is a dinosaur themed car and guess what what it's gonna be. Um but so this is an update video on like the finish how it's it's done. It's well it's not completely done. I still need to bleed the brakes and I also need to get the motor running decent. Uh it does start up, but I had to keep my foot on the gas for it to stay running. It does, it does drive. I drove it into the shop here because it was raining outside. It quit raining right now, but yeah, it's no fun to work in the rain. But as you see, can see I got all my chains done. I got them all wrapped around, cut the length, and bolted through. As you can see, I just I'm just chaining the driver's door. I did have the option of welding it, but I'm not gonna do it. I don't feel like this car is gonna last that long, so I don't want to st stick that much welding time into this car. I mean, I did weld on some mesh, so that way, if I roll the car, this doesn't compress down on top of me. But I got all these done. I can only do. Uh, four chains for the trunk. I wish I could do a couple more, but I can't. I gotta stay within the rules. And I actually had to weld my back frame back on. I found out that I wasn't supposed to do that. I thought I could, but I was not supposed to chain or cut the frame off. So I weld it back on and hopefully it'll pass tech. Um, but realistically, I think they should let it go because, I mean, there is nothing to these frames. Like, I just welded it on the best I could. And, yeah. And I ain't going to bolt it down. It doesn't pay to do it. If it plows, it plows. I mean, I can always bring it home and bend it back up with the skid steer. Or even, I, if I really feel like it, I can bend it back up with the excavator. Derby Lawnmower, that will be running this Tuesday at Wright County Fair. I will do a video update on where all these cars are going to run and whatnot. But, as you can see, all the chains are done. Chains for the hood. Hood, I will show you guys. I did already a video on the cage. Um, my gas tank, it's bolted, or not tightened down, but it's bolted in. It is a, uh, where is it, a M&M, m, &M, m Boys Demo Derby gas tank. Uh, I got this thing for like, uh, I think it was 50 bucks. Um, uh, the guy that sold it to me was going out of, or not going out of business, but he was retiring from derbying, so, yeah, so I got it. Fairly at a decent price. All my new bricks, brick stuff, kept keep the water out of there. Uh, I did put a new belt on for the alternator. Got this tire. This is actually a tire I just made up um, this couple days ago. It is tubed and has a. It's tired and tubed. I'm very proud of it. Looks stands really tall. I didn't think it was gonna be that decent, but it is. Let's see if you guys notice anything different. Well, besides this big old hole cut in the hood, um, probably should have not cut this back strip off. But realistically, this hood's not gonna be doing much. But yeah, I changed out the front bumper. It is a beefy, beefy beast bumper now. Uh, it wasn't that aluminum bumper. This is a heavy steel bumper. 
Uh, this was already pre-ran on a car. I got it for free uh, from a buddy. I want to thank him. It means a lot. Got And the rules did allow you able to weld it. Weld it onto the bumper. Both sides. I, st I probably spent about half hour just uh, welding, 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 making sure that this thing does not fall off and it's the right width, like completely right width to, uh, for, the, to, for it to stay on the inside of the body line. Yeah, but the hood I'm actually pretty proud of. I'm going to try this out. Um, I know it's very flimsy and whatnot, but I mean, realistically, if this bends in, it will go straight up and it'll stay away from my headers and whatnot. And I won't have any issues. All my lines are zip tied down. Um, I don't, I might add, I'm going to add a, some, uh, some covering on here, keep it from getting cut. Uh, here it's fine because I have it still in the like not factory position, but it's it has one of the factory mounts and it's out of the way. I power wash this motor off. It used to be all black and oily on top, but now it's clean, fairly clean. Um, moving along, I love these headers. They are awesome. Another tire. Kind of sorry if I'm so close, right up against the wall right now. This camera's not very good, but it gets the job done. Got the all these chains on and in. Got a. I'm not gonna do a thing with, with the fenders that they bend up really bad. Whatever. Um, my battery box is in. I made this up a few weeks ago. And I spray painted it green so that way it stands out. That way I know it's mine. Uh, very easy to make. I probably should have made it a little bit bigger for our bigger batteries, but whatever. I can sell it for like 20 bucks or something. Extra chain, some brake fluid, miscellaneous stuff. Keep the water out of the motor. Oops. Um. Yeah, chains are easy, easily done. Went as big as bolts as I could. Got picked these off of a job site. Long thread of, thread of bolts. You can use them for bigger chains like these. But yeah, uh, roof sign needs to go on yet. That will be done probably the day of the derby. I, it's still on the the other car, but yeah, there you go, guys. It's uh, coming along very good. Um, I'm gonna start painting today. I just I'm pretty much done with work. Um, I'm gonna do another update video on my trailer that will be posted this week too. Or. Sometime might just keep it for an extra video if I don't post stuff for a while, but I am very proud of this car for how crappy it is and whatnot. It's it looks badass. I it doesn't it actually looks like it's built correctly or decent enough that it should do good. I am gonna play smart with this car. I'm gonna do uh, just. Like, use the back end as much as I can. Uh, if it plows down pretty bad, I'm going to end up uh, going forwards. I probably will go forwards most of the time, but I am going to try to use up this back end as much as I can too. I mean, if I get one good shot on this back end, it's going down. Or what I actually might have is I'm going to try to, if I get pinned up against the wall, I'm going to make. I'm going to see if I can get my buddies to... Wave them over and see if we can plow into the side and kind of get it to crush inwards. And then if it plows, then it's not one big old thing hanging on the ground. It's just crushed in and then a little spot. But we'll see.
it's all how it bends and goes so yeah here's uh there's the update video on the chain 78 impala chain stock derby car it will soon be called something else um if you guys can guess what the theme is again it was a dinosaur theme and yeah so see if you guys can guess it right but one little shot around again bucket seats in or not bucket seat uh bench seats in that's gonna stay in there gotta tighten that down yet still kind of loose but i just gotta finish tightening everything down and should be good to go so thanks guys for watching my videos appreciate it uh this car will be running at uh carver county fair in waconia minnesota um i will do update videos on all the other stuff where they will be running and whatnot i'm gonna do well it's gonna be one really big update video for all the cars where they're running and whatnot but this sunday actually uh july t i can't remember today's the where's my phone there's my phone. Okay, give me a second. So it's the 21st, so Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Friday, Saturday, so 22nd. So the 23rd of July here in Elk River, I will be running one of the raffle cars. Um, last year, I ended up uh, getting one of the cars that did not run, and the fair, and the fair was really nice enough to um, give me a car for this year. And that, I, I will admit that fair is awesome. I really appreciate them for doing that. Um, that is by far like the nicest thing that's happened to me for derby stuff. Well, besides derbying itself, but yeah. So I will be running in Elk River, uh, Sherburne County Fair, uh, July 23rd or 20. Yes, the 23rd. I will be running July 23rd. And, and yeah, so check me out if you can find me there. I will be at the fair pretty much from the like an hour or two before the derby. Uh, message me on Facebook or, or even just say something on YouTube and see if you guys are going to, or see if you're going to the fair. Maybe you guys can meet me, but whatever we'll see you guys at the fair if you go so i want to thank you guys for watching all my videos i want and i guess don't forget the the like button and the subscribe button if you're new to this channel definitely subscribe there's a lot more content com content coming um uh, gonna be i'm gonna be going to uh a few more fairs this year or today and tomorrow and then and then Sunday, I'm going to go record a few more fairs. So, again, guys, thank you for watching all my videos. I love you guys, and we'll catch you guys later.